Welcome to Introduction to Healthcare and Public Health in the U.S. Financing Healthcare Part 1. This is Lecture B. The component Introduction to Healthcare and Public Health in the U.S. is a survey of how healthcare and public health are organized and how services are delivered in the U.S. It covers public policy, relevant organizations and their interrelationships, professional roles, legal and regulatory issues, And payment systems. It also addresses health reform initiatives in the U.S. The objectives for Financing Healthcare Part 1 are to describe the history and role of the health insurance industry in financing healthcare in the United States and federal laws that have influenced the development of the industry, explain the importance of the healthcare industry to the U.S. economy, and the role of financial management in healthcare. Describe models of healthcare financing in the U.S. and in selected other countries. Explain the differences among various types of private health insurance and describe the organization and structure of network based managed care health insurance programs. Describe the various roles played by government as policymaker, payer, provider, and regulator of healthcare. And describe the organization and function of Medicare and Medicaid. This lecture describes the role that healthcare plays in the U.S. economy, including healthcare expenditures and methods of financing. A healthcare system provides services for the prevention and treatment of illness and the maintenance of the health of a population. The model for a country's healthcare system may be public, private, or mixed, and varies from country to country. The U.S. healthcare system is a mixed model of private healthcare organizations, or HCOs, and government operated systems, such as the military health system, the Veterans Administration, and the Indian Health Service, among others. No matter how a country structures the delivery of healthcare services, the challenge of paying for the services it provides is a complex and taxing problem. It is important that the collection and disbursement of funds is appropriately managed to ensure the continued delivery of healthcare services. Healthcare financing is the collection and pooling of funds used to pay the cost of healthcare services provided by a healthcare system to individuals and populations. It also involves a method for the distribution of payments for the services provided. Healthcare expenditures or spending represent the total value of the services delivered during a time period, usually one year. Various methods can be used to examine spending, including category of service, contributor, and payer. Contributor and payer may appear to be the same, but there is a distinction to be made between the two. Contributors represent the various governmental and private entities that provide money into the pool or fund used to pay for services. Payers represent the fund or pool that pays for healthcare services. For this discussion, using the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services or CMS actuarial categories, healthcare services include hospital, nursing, and home health care, physician, dental, and ancillary services. Prescription medications, and equipment, public health activities, research administration, and infrastructure. The healthcare industry is one of the largest industries in the U.S. According to the latest Bureau of Labor Statistics information, in 2014, the healthcare industry employs approximately 11.8 million people. Healthcare has 10 of the 20 fastest growing occupations. And will generate an additional 3.2 million jobs by 2018. With this in mind, the next slide will look at the economic impact of the healthcare industry and healthcare spending on the U.S. economy and the gross domestic product, or GDP. The GDP is a measure of the U.S. economy that reflects the market value of all goods and services produced in a given period of time. It indicates how fast or slow the economy is growing year to year and allows comparison of the U.S. economy to the economies of other countries. In 2013, the U.S. GDP was just over $17 trillion, approximately $3 trillion or 17.5% of GDP was spent on healthcare, the highest worldwide. 
This translates into a per capita value of more than $9,000. It is projected that by 2024, spending will approach 19.6% of GDP, or one out of every $5 spent in the U.S. economy. This chart, prepared by the California Healthcare Foundation, illustrates the increase in total national healthcare spending in billions of dollars for select years. From 1963 until 2013, and projected to 2023, and as a percentage of GDP. Between 2009 and 2013, healthcare spending as a share of the economy remained stable at just over 17%. However, it is projected to increase to 19% by 2023. Health spending per capita. Increased 51% between 2003 and 2013, or an average of 4.2% annually. In 2015, U.S. health spending was projected to reach $10,125 per person. Healthcare expenditures continue to outpace the consumer price index in every year. When comparing per capita health expenditures in the U.S. to other countries. The U.S. spends 50% more than the next closest industrialized country, Germany, and almost twice the average expenditure of other industrialized countries. With all the money being spent in the U.S., you might be asking, where is the money being spent? What is the source of the funds to pay for all of these healthcare expenditures? How is the money distributed to the various organizations and participants? You can look at spending in a number of different ways by category of service, by contributors to spending, and by type of payer. This table groups national healthcare spending into 13 categories. The four largest categories hospital care, physician services, nursing and residential services, and prescription drugs account for approximately three quarters of the nearly $3 trillion spent in 2013. Health spending in 2013 grew at a slower pace than the average annual growth rate over the last 20 years. Spending on prescription drugs and dental services slowed substantially. Hospital care and physician and clinical services remain the largest categories of spending, although their combined share has slipped from 56% to 52% from 1993 to 2013. This chart illustrates the data from the previous slide as a percentage of total spending. As seen on the bottom left of the slide, hospital care and physician services represent slightly more than one half of total spending. Another method of classifying healthcare spending examines the contributors to the funds used to pay for services. This chart, prepared by the California Healthcare Foundation using CMS Office of the Actuary data, Illustrates the percentage of healthcare spending from different contributors. As seen on the chart, federal and state and local contributions represent 26 and 17 percent, respectively, or 43 percent of all the spending, while private sector contributions represent the remaining 57 percent. Federal, state, and local government contributions to funding. Include general tax revenues used to fund healthcare systems, such as the federal government's Indian Health Service or a state or county health department. It also includes any payroll tax and the cost of purchasing private health insurance for government employees. Households in this slide represent individual and family contributions and include the employee portion of health insurance premiums. Payroll taxes and out-of-pocket costs other than premiums, which include deductibles, copayments, coinsurance, and non-covered services. Private business contributions include the employer portion of premiums for workers' health insurance and payroll taxes. The remaining eight percent of healthcare financing funds. Come from the philanthropic activity of private organizations. This slide shows a different way of classifying expenditures by payer. The data are from 2011. Private health insurance accounted for 33 percent of expenditures. Public health insurance accounted for 39 percent, comprising Medicare and Medicaid, and the section labeled other public health insurance, 
including Department of Defense and Veterans Administration spending, together encompassing 3.2% of national health expenditures, and Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP. The section labeled Other Payers includes programs such as Indian Health Service, Workers' Compensation, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, or SAMHSA, and School Health, among others. The Investment section refers to research and infrastructure expenditures, summing to 6%. 11% of expenditures were classified as out-of-pocket spending. Finally, 3% of expenditures were from public health payers. This concludes Lecture B of Financing Healthcare, Part 1. In summary, the U.S. has the highest healthcare costs in the world, and spends close to one fifth of its gross domestic product on healthcare. The good news is that the healthcare job market is consistently strong, and growth rates are often double those of other economic sectors. National healthcare expenditures can be examined by category of spending, contributor, and payer. Health insurance is an important factor in healthcare spending in the U.S.